Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip explains how to calculate distances from rates and times. So at a rate of 58 miles per hour, how far can I travel in three hours? 58 miles per hour. And if I do that for three hours, then the units left will be miles. And that's about 58 times three. 60 times three would be 180. So it's six less than that, so 174. Let's check that. Three times eight is 24. Three times five is 150. Yeah, so three times 50 is 150. So if I can travel 30 miles in 25 minutes, how far can I travel in two hours? So 30 miles in 25 minutes. So there are 60 minutes in an hour. So the minutes, you know, the minutes will cancel. I'll just have miles per hour, and then I'll just multiply by two hours. Then the hours will cancel, and it would just be a distance. So I'll let my calculator take care of this one. And the calculator says that equals 144 miles, and that's how far. So that's a distance. Well, a minute a mile. A mile a minute would be 60 miles an hour, so that would be 120 miles. We're going faster than that because we go 30 miles in 25 minutes. So yeah, that, that makes sense that it's longer than 120 miles. Five days ago, my hay field was 5.7 inches high. Now the hay, the field is 10.1 inches high. I plan to cut it when it's 19.3 inches high. That will be in how many days? <clears throat> So in five days, it went from 5.7 to 10.1. So let's find out how much it has increased. So 10.1 minus the 5.7, that turns out to be, well, 10 minus 6, well, 11, let's say 11 minus 7 is 4. So this drops down to 9. 9 minus 5 is 4. <coughs> So 4.1 inches in five days. Let's find out what that is per day. So 0 0.88 inches per day. <clears throat> So I know my equation is something like this. The, the height that it's going to be is equal to how high it is now plus 0 0.88 times the number of days. Well, we can solve for that number of days, that d, because we can subtract the 10.1. That gives me a 9.2, and that's equal to 0 0.88 times d. So I just have to divide both sides by 0.88. So we have 9.2 is equal to 0 0.88 d. That is 1. 1 times d is d. 9.2 divided by 0.88. So the calculator says 11.45. If we round it to three digits, that would be 11.5. Either way you want to put it in. If you practice jumping your skateboard every day, you can improve your jump by two inches per week. After two weeks, you can jump 19 inches. You can jump how far without any practice? So if we say that our jump is equal to um, how much I could jump without any practice, plus how much I jump further every week, times the number of weeks, then that's kind of a general equation. Well, the jump is 19 when the weeks is 2, so plus 2w. And w is 2 in this case, 2 weeks. So 19 equals 
how much I could jump back in practice plus the four that I increased by practicing. So that means without any practice, I could jump 15 inches. If you practice jumping your skateboard every day, you can improve your jump by 1.5 inches per week. After two weeks, you can jump 20 inches. How far can you jump after nine weeks? So it's very similar to the last one. The jump is equal to how much I can increase every week times the number of weeks, plus how far I can jump without any practice. <clears throat> I guess that I don't need a parenthesis because we're just talking about a letter. So 2w, and then we say, okay, two weeks, 20 inches. So 20. So that's four. And I subtract four, and that gives me 16. Is how much I could jump without any practice. So J equals two more for every week that I practice, plus the 16 that I could jump without any practice. And now we want to say, well, what about after nine weeks of practice? So J equals two times nine plus 16 is 18 plus 16 is 35. Oh, no, 34. So this one wants us to write the equation, but then use it to find out 